Alrighty, so today we're looking at how we can use um, a Vive Tracker to track our zoom or focus, as well as a second Vive Tracker to track the camera. Um, so if so, we're just in our tutorial file we had before, and if I just hit play, you'll notice. Um, we just zoom in a bit. Alrighty, so we got the zoom working by rotating a tracker, but as I tilt the track camera, or my fake track camera, um, you notice it zooms in and out a little bit, um, and so we have our relative location on the left there, um, and that's simply because as we tilt it forward and back, it rotates, obviously, the tracker that we're using to track the focus. Um, so this makes it a little difficult because uh, your focus is going to shift in and out, or as I've set up the um, focal length, uh, it's going to move in and out, which is a bit annoying because that's not what we want. Um, so this is a blueprint from before. Um, so the only thing I've done, don't worry about that, but that'll come a little later. Um, so the only thing I've added at the moment is a print string just so we can check, keep an eye on things. Um, so if we hit play again, um, first what we're going to do is we're going to hit one on the, oops, whoops, my bad, um, let's unplug that and try again. Uh, we're going to hit one on the keyboard, and so we got tracker 4 and 3 ID. Uh, so I've already figured out that tracker 3 is the focus one, so tracker 4 is going to be our regular tracker. And so essentially what we're going to do is exactly the same thing we did here. Um, we're going to come up with its uh, rotation and then simply take it away from this rotation so this rotation will always stay the same. Uh, so what that looks like, what we're going to do first is we're going to Pardon me. We're going to rename some variables. So we're going to start by renaming the tracker rotation to tracker one rotation, and we'll be adding a new one called tracker two rotation, like so. Make sure it's a float. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a, use another get device tracked, get tracked device position and orientation, um, and we're also going to use the map clamp range. So I'm just going to copy paste these two, uh, and we're going to enter the ID of our track that we use, tracker we're using to track the camera, which for my me is four. Now, uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to unplug roll. So we need to figure out what the uh, axes we're going to be using for that tracker is. So if you have it planted the wrong way, because apparently Vive doesn't recommend you do it like that, but the, the way you would uh, intuitively put it on a camera with the light facing forward and all the prongs facing up, then it is going to be the Y axis. Uh, so the pitch, like so. Um, if you've mounted it some funky other way, even if you mount it the way it should with the prongs facing forward and the light at the top, that'll actually still be pitch. Um, and which way it is mounted actually doesn't matter for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take its current orientation and map it to, if you remember we mapped it from 0 to 360 degrees. Um, we are then going to just you reuse this delta rotator. Isn't that handy? So uh, we're going to plug this into pitch at the bottom there, and we're going to get the track two rotation like so, and we're going to plug that into the pitch as well. And so that is going to give us um, our value out here, and we're just simply going to take this existing value and add onto it this pitch. And then we are going to plug that into the set the set like that. And so what this is going to do is we're going to get um, a value in 360 degrees. We're going to so how far it has moved in degrees um, between the last frame or last tick and this tick. So you see that's one degree and then we're simply going to add it on top of the existing trackers rotation to essentially offset it by one degree. That way, as math, um, you know, so as we're tilting it, it's essentially accounting for that tilt. Um, the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to set the track to rotation 
at some point, so set it. Uh, so just stick it at the end of this stack. Uh, and the same thing, we're just going to drag off the map range clamped and stick it in there. So now if we hit play, if we hit, if we plug the string back together and then hit play, alright, so our value is 85, let me I'll zoom it in a little bit. Alrighty. Now as I tilt the camera up and down, the value is changing, but am I reading the wrong value? Oh, I was reading the tracker one rotation this whole time. I meant to read the relative rotation. That's <laughs> I mean, you saw it working and then not working with the zoom, so I'm not going to redo it because of that. But essentially now, um, if we zoom in, now as we tilt up and down, uh, as you can see, it's not moving. Oh, except for the base jitter that the Vibe Tracker already has in it. Um, one thing to note is if the tracker loses all tracking, um, like that, it'll reset its value to zero and stay at zero, so you will get that. But as soon as it comes back into tracking, magic. I need, uh, and so, to further illustrate the point, um, how would we hook this up to... Um, this is where this comes in down here. Um, so, I've just set up a basic relative location and rotation from the very first tutorial I ever did um, for our track device, just so we can actually track this camera at the same time. So now, as I... it's not set up correctly, that's why that, but if I zoom in and out, let's zoom in on the clouds... Um, oh, come on, tripod, there we go. We're not, we are moving it up and down, and I guess the print string would, would be helpful here. Um, as the print string showed before, it is not moving. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I've, I've broken something in the print. <sighs> there we go. Can never do anything right. Here we go. Ta-da! So now as we zoom in and out, the value stays the same, even though we're moving it back and forth. So zoom in more. Still gonna say the same. So that is how you use two Vive trackers uh, to track your camera and focus and or lens. Um, same applies if you're using three. If anyone's been daring enough to use all three trackers to do uh, focus, zoom, and then just track the camera, that's uh, simply apply this same method to both the focus and the zoom. Um, if you probably figured that out already, if you're um, advanced enough to try to both, but um, there you go. Um, and so the last thing I'm going to make a mention of is this tutorial was suggested by one of my Patreons. So if you too would like to suggest some tor to a tutorial, um, this one is a bit of math, I'm not the biggest fan of math, but uh, yeah, if you would like to suggest one or just go ahead and download this project without having to make it yourself and a couple of other things, then you can go check it out. Awesome.